Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today um, it is a let's play. Don't be fooled by the title. I know it looks like a speed build. It, it is a speed build. Okay, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> so I randomly decided one day when I was not recording or not planning on recording to redo my shop area just slightly because that's something I've kind of been doing recently is just kind of like changing up my areas. Um, not completely changing like their like they're like physically I don't know how to explain it like I'm just kind of rearranging my decorations or recoloring it or you know adding some a few new ones or something so anyways randomly decided one day when I was not planning on recording like a whole video that I just wanted to do this little project so I decided to record it for you guys and I'm throwing it in the beginning of today's let's play so don't worry the actual let's play is coming right after this quick little like speed it's not really a speed build it's like a speed decorating but yeah that's uh, that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> what I mainly didn't like was uh, everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I just kind of wanted something more fresh. I didn't really like the path that I used. Um, I love this path, but I feel like it didn't really work in this kind of awkward space, this awkward cliff area that my shops are on top of. So instead, I opted for this little um, little sneaky little uh, regular path, and I decided that I want. I wanted a little more symmetry, so I did decide to put two trees on either side. There is one that you can see right there, but I do put another one. Yeah, um, it was just kind of something that I was really inspired to do one day. Lately, I have been like super motivated to play Animal Crossing. Um, sometimes, you know, everyone knows how it is. You kind of get burnt out or you just really don't feel like playing or you have no ideas, yada, 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 you know, so it's, it's always something, but lately, Guys, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's like the weather in Animal Crossing. I don't know if it's like new, the mushroom season. I don't know what it is, but lately I'm just like Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. Yes, and I have like ideas and I want to just play. Like instead of just like going in just to like build for videos, I just want to like go talk to my villagers. I just want to pick up sticks. I want to go fishing. I want to do all the little things that I enjoyed at the beginning of the game, you know, like before I started YouTube and before all that stuff, just like, playing just like experiencing the game and it's amazing like i have to stop myself well not really but a little bit i do have to stop myself from like doing stuff off camera because i do want to record you know me finishing up this island but i get inspired and i'm like ah, i want to do things and then i start doing it without recording i'm like no wait <laughs> you need to you need to show the people so yeah that's what i almost did for this speed build or decorating a little area i almost was just like i'm just gonna do it which I'm so glad that I have that feeling. I'm I'm so happy that it's back because, you know, like I said earlier, burnout happens, you don't get inspired. So I'm so happy that I've just been feeling it lately. It's been amazing. Like today I woke up and I was like, I'm so freaking excited to record a Let's Play today. Like normally, I mean, of course I'm excited every time, but today it was like extra, like over the top overflowing. And I'm like, let's go, let's go. Like, you know, I'm, it's just, it's been great. And even though I'm so hungry right now, <laughs> I'll say it, I'm gonna say it later in the Let's Play too because I recorded the let's play first and now I'm recording the voiceover for this part so yeah um I'll say it later in the video I'm so hungry right now but I just want to record this voiceover because I want to like work on this video and like you know edit and everything it's just ah it's the best I've been feeling so great uh I don't know what it is just something about maybe it's just today maybe it's just lately there's just like the vibe it's just been so great and I'm not even talking about what I'm doing which is whatever like you guys can just watch <laughs> there was really no thought process behind this um I was just kind of like changing everything up kind of like on the fly of course like I always do just kind of figuring it out as I went along and I did keep most of the same elements um except for that vending machine I always I tried to put it there because I was like you know what vending machine around the shops you know it, it works but it just doesn't anymore in my mind so i did move it <laughs> i uh, i just thought it didn't really fit in that well anymore so yeah that is that is kind of the process for this little area but anyway enough of me rambling even though it's good rambling today um how are you guys doing i hope you're all doing well we are getting very dangerously close to 50k subscribers i don't know if you've noticed right now last time i checked i think i'm like at 46.6 or 7 or is it 47.6 or 7? I don't know, guys. It's like, it's happening so fast, <laughs> which is crazy. So yeah, I'm trying to plan something cool for 50k. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to see. I'm so excited. I've, 
I never imagined I would be a person who has 50k subscribers on YouTube. Like, what? I always thought that was so, like, crazy hard to do. And it's like, well, that's so many. That's 50,000 people that are like, yes, I want to watch you. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm only used to, like, one person. But anyway, all that to say, I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for getting me this far, and I hope we go farther. I also went to GameStop the other day with um, my boyfriend because he wanted to get something. And they told me, because I was wearing these Animal Crossing earrings that I have that are like little tangy earrings. I'll have to show you guys at some point. But I have these Animal Crossing like little tangy earrings and I was wearing them and the GameStop girl uh, who was there at the checkout was like, oh, I like your earrings. And I was like, thank you. And uh, then she was talking about Animal Crossing and how she like brings her amiibos in whenever she brings in her Switch and like whenever anybody has like Animal Crossing or their Switch she can like give them amiibos and I was like that's so sweet that's so cool like that's awesome so I was like thankfully I already have Tangy but thank you and uh, I didn't have my Switch anyway <laughs> so why would I bring my Switch to GameStop but yeah point is we started talking about Animal Crossing and she was like, oh, you know um, that we're going to get restocked with Animal Crossing Christmas wrapping paper soon. Um, I think we should get it in like by the end of the month. And I was like, oh, Animal Crossing wrapping paper. Okay, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that. And if you guys are interested in getting that, I would say look at GameStop and check on their website. She told me to check on the website, but I haven't yet because I just forgot until now. But I'm so excited for that because I want to make all my presents wrapped beautifully. I love wrapping presents, first of all, and I just want to wrap them in Animal Crossing wrapping paper because that's just like my brand, I guess, Animal Crossing. Or is my brand frogs. Should I get frog wrapping paper instead? Or, oh, compromise lily wrapping paper. So it's frogs and Animal Crossing. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I really want to get that, wrap all my presents in that, even for the people that don't even play Animal Crossing, but I think it's going to be so cute. I don't know. I kind of want to do like Animal Crossing themed Christmas presents, like for the wrapping, not the actual presents, because mostly I don't, I can't think of anyone in my life that I could give <laughs> a present to that is an Animal Crossing fan, like from my family and stuff. So yeah, I'm just very excited for Animal Crossing wrapping paper. I'm very excited for Christmas in general. It's my favorite holiday. And uh, I was also wondering if you guys are interested in seeing like holiday or like winter Christmas because I know um, some of you might not celebrate Christmas so like more of like wintry or holiday season-y builds or decorating on my island. Um, it would be temporary of course I wouldn't keep those forever but I'm interested in you if you would like to see that on my island. I do have a few like literally like one or two ideas for what I could do I'm not sure but if that's something you guys want to see, I'm down to do it for you guys. If you want like winter inspiration, once it hits winter, you know, once we get the snow and stuff. I feel like I won't be able to resist doing it anyways. Um, hopefully I have some space on my island. I do have my little seasonal area down there, but I do have one idea and I know it. that idea needs a decent chunk of space. So I'm not sure where it's going to go, but anyway, sorry, I'm so rambly today. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing like winter stuff coming up because I don't know just to gauge your interest because if nobody really you know like cares about seeing it I'll just skip over it and like try to finish up my island but if not uh, if you would like to see it then I will definitely plan for some videos like that just uh just let me know so this is pretty much the end of it uh you can see all the final products except for like these two fence pieces that i put down but yeah i'm really glad i decided to randomly do this one day i don't know why i had the feeling to do it but i did and i love how it turned out it's it's cute i i like the changes now a lot better so thanks for watching this uh speed build part thank you for putting up with the speed build in a let's play and i will now uh pass it over to the let's play portion Hello! Uh, you probably will have just seen the cute little speed build, so I just wanted to kind of transition because it feels weird to me to not be like, hello, welcome back, even though I am like just starting the game. Anyways, uh, hello! It's it's uh, the rest of this video, and oh, I got f some Nook Miles. <laughs> for, for what? Oh, I accidentally took a picture. That's why. So I thought for this Let's Play episode, I would actually have the game audio on instead of some music. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I kind of miss playing with the game audio. I kind of miss hearing it, hearing the game sounds. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to 
Gonna get this balloon wherever it is. Oh no. Why are they always in the worst places? No, don't shake the tree. Oh my god. Yes! No! Uh, okay, let me get this. Oh! Do I know this? <gasps> yes! Thank you! Oh my goodness. For once, I actually get something. That's actually incredible. So today we do have some tasks to get done. Um, we need to get meringue back and we, uh, what else? We need to replant these trees that are here because I stole them for the mushroom pathway, I think. We need to organize these flowers. We need to move Gwen's house. Oh no, Gwen is going bye-bye. Yeah, meringue's gonna kick out Gwen. I hate her. I hate her here. We need to move Ribot's house because it's in meringue's spot, which is, oh, I ran those over, which is so um, just not right. It, it's not right. So, okay, what are we doing first? We, okay, meringue, meringue. That's what we're gonna do first. It is really nice, I gotta admit, having these characters amiibos because I can just kick them out at will to go villager hunting and it's the best. This is what works out the best for me. <laughs> okay, wait, let me grab the amiibos. Ah. All right, we got our Gwarl. Please read it. Oh, I'm putting it on the, I'm putting it on the thumbstick. No, no. Oh, why can I not even do this correctly? On the, on up there, go. Thank you. <laughs> I had to do it upside down. This is so cute. I love this, the little jingle. And they're like, hey, what's up? I did already invite her yesterday. I actually pre-prepared, so I only have to do her today and then um, what else will we do? We'll move Robot's house today. Oh, I should go back in there and do that actually. <laughs> Let, let's go back in. Oh, this is awkward. Don't look at me. <laughs> so we'll do Robot's house and meringue uh, the second time for meringue and then we'll time travel a day. I actually love Robot so much. I like don't want to get rid of him. <laughs> Just look at him, look at his little face! Okay, I don't know where his house is going. I don't know where most of my villagers' houses are going. I have like three of them on the beach and it's so bad. Yeah, let's take a look at our villager lineup. I literally have three poor babies on the beach. Diana, who else? Norma, and then poor Sherb on the beach. I don't know where else to put them. Because in theory, I do like the villager houses spread out because I think that's really cute. I like all the villagers having their own space, their own area. But when I'm trying to kick villagers out, it's super annoying. <laughs> Not that I'm really gonna be kicking out many villagers. Um, I get, well, yeah, I don't even know. I think all my villagers are pretty much set. I don't think I'm gonna go hunting too much for this island anymore. Let's see if he fits here. Yeah, just, just move here. Sorry, palm trees. <laughs> Oh, that's an easy way to clean them out. Again, these beach homes are just temporary. And let's see what meringue- Ooh, there's a lost item and mushrooms. All sorts of treasures over here. What? I'm not gonna return it. Okay, what does she want us to make? Please just be something easy. Grass standee. I've literally never made that before. What? Oh, I don't even have the DIY. Thanks, Meringue. All right, let's go make this girl a grass standee. Anything for you, Meringue. Anything to get you back on my island. I do have roaches in my house. Um, they're friends. These things better not go in her house, though. Do there things that you craft for them in the campsite? Do they? Do they go in their houses? The first time I invited her, she wanted me to make her a wooden block bed. And if that and this stupid grass sandy go in her beautiful house, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> okay, listen to me, Meringue. Do not put this in your house, okay? It's ready for you, here you go. Don't put it in your house. It's not cute, it's not gonna look good. Thank you for the racing outfit. I'm totally definitely gonna wear it, not gonna go sell it right away. Okay, I think that's all the tasks we had to do for today, so. I'm gonna go ahead and skip a day so that Ribot's house get, gets moved and then yeah we will get Meringue moved in. We will we will do that. So I will see you in a second. Yes girl. Yes queen. Mm. She is so talented. Okay her album 
is dropping next year. Just letting you guys know if you want to pick up copies, if you want to pre-order. Yeah, Tangy's album is called Gimme Juice. It's coming out. It's gonna be so good. I'm so glad I decided to invite Meringue yesterday and just get one of the visits out of the way so I don't have to do three in this Let's Play episode. So yeah, thank you past me. Okay, this time I got it. This time I, I got it. Yes, first try. Look at that. Yeah, I'm the best at Animal Crossing. I can get the amiibo on the first try. What can you do? You know, the campsite is one of the parts of this game that actually make the it makes the least amount of sense to me because everything in this game is like, oh, you have to wait a day to move the house. You know, you gotta wait a day for villagers to move in. You gotta wait for this, wait for that, wait for upgrades. And the campsite is the only thing where it's like, yeah, this animal doesn't even live anywhere near you, but they're instantly teleported to the campsite. It makes more sense that you have to wait a day after inviting them for them to show up because they have to like fly. You know, like how are they instantly just here? I literally just called you. I'm not gonna question it. I would I would absolutely hate that. And I'm sure you, everyone else watching this would. Okay, Meringue, please just, just please don't play games with me. Log chair, got it. Uh-huh, bye, bye, bye. Let me out, let me out. Let's go make it. Yeah, she better not put this ugly log chair in her house either. I'll be so upset. Okay, let's put away all of these random little extra things that I've been carrying around. I should really put more uh, workbenches and like materials somewhere around my island because it's so annoying to have to go all the way back to my house to craft things. I used to have workbenches kind of scattered around but I, I don't even know where they disappeared to. All right, here's your log chair. Again, please don't put this in your house. I trust you so much, Meringue. I trust you so much. Only I could stay here forever. Uh, come here and then you can make me some of those delicious looking sandwiches too. Oh no, there's no room. Looks like someone's gonna have to leave. Uh-oh. Who's looking to move out? I think Gwen mentioned something that she like hates everyone here and also hates me. So let's just... I, I just think she's gonna be more comfortable on another island, you know? It's Raven, isn't it? Glad I got your name right. Meringue, you've lived here for years! So yay, there we go, we got Meringue. Gwen, get out of here, finally. She was on my island for like less than a week, but I hated it. I hated every day that she was here. Okay, I think that was the only thing we have to do today. I'm still trying to grow these trees to the next stage, so we gotta wait one more day for those. Um, if I wanna move any villager houses, now would be the time. Let's take a look at my map. Oh, um, let's move Norma. I think I wanna move Norma back behind the little um, fairy village where I was talking about that I wanted to move somebody's house there. I just didn't know who. So let's do Norma because then she'll be near Tipper's house and I like that. Mr. Tom, can we please move another house? I know I just asked yesterday, but listen, I got big plans for this island. I got big plans and you guys are just sitting in here, slapping your keyboards, doing nothing. Meanwhile, I'm outside breaking my back. Okay, so I know Gwen's house is right here, but it's, it's gonna leave. So I think I just wanna slap Norma like right in here. Like right in this little clearing. Yeah, no, that's that's too far back. Wow, it's really gonna destroy all the trees. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh TBH. It's gonna still destroy a tree, but that's fine, I'll just replant it. Yay! So I think that's it for this day in Animal Crossing. So once again, I will go speed it up a day and I'll be right back. Oh, I got red today. Okay. Um, let's- yeah, let me do him before I forget, because I forget every single time. Oh, it always is so freaking dark in here. Like, can you please just put in- put in a lamp? I can't tell what these freaking paintings are. I'm just gonna buy this one, because I think it looks cute. I've only submitted, like, three or four pieces to the museum, and I have a few in my inventory, and I, like, keep them, because I'm like, maybe I'll use them for decorating. Like, I just buy whatever ones I like first. I- I'm not worrying about completing the museum just yet so I just buy the ones that are cute whether they're real or they're fake okay we got our trees um I'm just gonna do things as I as I find them so let's let's uh dig these up and go put them down all right go back where you belong oh no 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 not the mushroom okay that one and this one there we go okay all good 
now let's go what are we doing i think we have to move meringue's house correct ah okay because yes meringue's not even moved in yet that's fine there's bells behind here which i didn't know okay i will freaking take that i okay i have a few like housekeeping things type stuff that i need to do first of all no thank you <laughs> that has been bothering me this is getting out of hand i mostly want pink flowers i really shouldn't keep this many yellow ones oh all right let's go buy another one but yeah i don't want to keep that many yellow ones i do want my main flower colors to be pink because i think that's what's the cutest okay while i'm buying a shovel in here i'm also going to buy a bunch of what are they called customization kits because there's something else i want to work on today okay that should be enough let's go move out the way i should really move my flowers to the beach that is a smart thing to do <laughs> but there's some of them that i do need to duplicate because i literally have like none like pink hyacinths with i which i think are the cutest flowers i think i think i'm upgrading to hyacinths being my favorite flower in this game so yeah i have like none of those i think these are my only spares at the moment which is so sad oh and these these are so ugly get out of here get out of my life get out of my island okay so we did a bit of clearing i think that's really all the energy i have for flowers today because yeah i just don't want to deal with the rest of that i really don't <laughs> let's go do what i wanted to do with the customization kits really quick and that is to fix up my spooky circle area so i really like it still but i did make it very spooky for halloween so what i'm gonna do is first of all these weeds too overgrown and i was thinking i would change the mushrooms at least to be white or something so that we have kind of a more springy look you know i was like i could just go into my villagers houses and just use their crafting table like a thousand iq brain instead of running all the way to my house but nobody's home tia are you home who do you guys ever go inside your houses tangy tangy my girl of course she's home she's recuperating from her latest experiments oh she's using it okay please let me use your thing can i use this i don't think she gives me space oh yes haha <laughs> i pushed her out of the way <laughs> oh my god the way she's looking at me right now <laughs> Tanky, i'm sorry i just have i just gotta i just gotta use this real quick girl oh no i need to customize it oh i'm taking too long Tanky. i'm sorry <laughs> okay i could go with yellow or i could go with white i think i'm gonna go with yellow because i never do color anymore i'm always doing white all right and we're done tangy you can go back i want to see what happens oh yeah they just walk back and really quick before we go put these back i have another idea i think i want to put a giant butterfly in the middle instead of the two small ones that i have i just think it's gonna look so magical so i think i have maybe one huge butterfly we're gonna see okay i don't where are all of my butterfly models okay i do have this guy right here um i could put this paper kite butterfly instead that's that looks so much better why is this diy here okay i know i have that giant butterfly that's like black and blue i don't remember what it's called something birdwing i i know i have one somewhere but where i don't remember where it is anymore i know i have some back here i have these two where is that huge one did i get rid of it i i don't even remember where it is <laughs> Am I going crazy? Like, does anyone remember where that butterfly model is? It's the giant one. Did I put it? Okay, did I put it in that little area that's by the beach? Now I'm like, okay, now we have a new mission. Find where the heck that giant butterfly model is because I know it's here somewhere, not this one. Even though I might just pick this one up and use it anyway. We'll see. I know it's somewhere. Okay, there's another of those green ones right there. I'm like making a mental note of all my butterfly models and their whereabouts because <laughs> I don't want this to happen again. Did I put it here? No, there's just a little baby one. Where is it? Okay, I'm determined to find this thing. I know I remember having it at my entrance. 
That's the that's where I could have sworn it was. Am I dumb and did I put it up here? No. Even though I should put one up here. Oh, I know where it is. Ah, oh, I know where it is. It's up here. How could I forget where I made that stupid ender dragon joke? Okay, it's there. <laughs> that's the one I was looking for. Um, I do ha like how it looks there though. I guess I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll just do this green one. But okay, good to know that I'm not like selling off my bug models and not remembering or something like that. I was scared. I was scared for a second. Okay, so we're back and it's kind of ninky. Let's pick everything up. And I think I'm gonna get rid of the candles too. And yeah, no more of this. Because it's not spooky anymore. Now it's gonna be cute. Let's see what custom designs I could put on the floor instead. Ooh, definitely these. I think I'm going to kick off all these cherry blossoms and instead put them underneath of the mushrooms. Or no, I should put these underneath the mushrooms. Yes. Cute, cute. Yes, I'm loving this. Is this too much? <laughs> Is this too much custom designs? I think I'll get rid of these around the outside. Yeah, let's just kick off everything because I think I'm maybe overdoing it this time. So let's do the middle first. Where is this bad boy? Well, I could put the moth, but it's not very like cute, like colorful, you know? This is not as big as I wanted. Okay, I think I will... I don't know what I'll do, actually. Oh, okay. I know it's what'll be funny. <laughs> me trying to make something funny instead of something cute. It might be both. And we're putting the puddle frog in the middle. <laughs> yes, perfect. I'm gonna do this. We'll put him. Yes. Put him right there. And then we'll do the little ones that I had. Where are they? We'll do the little ones here. Yeah, okay. F following me. And then we'll do... Um, I don't remember if I have enough star fragments. Okay, let me put down the stools first. Okay, I put down all the stools and they look so cute. Oh, I love this. Just these simple little changes are making me so happy. I could always go get more star clocks. I think I want to do star clocks on every mush stool. That might be a little overkill, but I, I kind of want to wanna overkill, you know? Okay, we got them. And let's just go ahead and slap them. Okay, yeah, uh-huh, this is yes. This is just yes. Okay, for the star fragments, let me see if I can get this to look good. I don't know if that looks good. Hmm, let me just, let me just try again. I don't know if that's weird. That might be good actually. I think it does look good like that when I put them all there, all the star fragments there, that looks cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I, I like it. Um, but what I don't like are these fences. <laughs> no more spooky. Um, I want a different fence, perhaps. And get rid of these overgrown weeds. We're gonna get rid of this. Get rid of these. And let's pick up all this spooky fence. I'm gonna go get another fence and maybe a few more flowers to replace those ones we took. And I think that'll be it for that area. I'm also so hungry, you guys. Once again, why do I film without eating? <laughs> I had my breakfast. Well, not really breakfast. I had my snack after I woke up at noon, uh, which was one Pop-Tart. One Pop-Tart I had. And that was at like one, no, it was it was like at, yeah, no, it was at one because I woke up at, <laughs> at 12.40. And then, yeah, after I finished like waking up and like doing all my hygiene stuff then it was like one by then so yeah i had a pop tart at like one and now it's four and uh yeah very hungry <laughs> i think i'm gonna make some ramen after this that sounds really good okay so i brought let's replace these since i picked them anyway i brought a yellow rose to tie in the yellow for the um mush stools and then i couldn't decide on a fence to bring i'm gonna try um, stone fencing because I I just never do for some reason I felt like it would look good here 
I mean, it doesn't look bad. How else did I have it down here? <laughs> I don't even remember. I'm just gonna do one like that, one like that. Same thing here. It gives it like a, like a different vibe. And I like it. I have decided officially I like it. I'm gonna put it right here. I think this is where I had a flower before anyway. Wow. This looks so, like it's it, this has so much going on. I actually love it. So I'm really glad that I made these changes. <gasps> I know what to do right here. I have coconuts, I think. Yes. A little sprout. Absolutely love those. I'm gonna put one stone right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it mostly like that because like I said, the the, the actual fairy circle is very busy and very eye-catching, so I don't want to clutter it up too much around the sides. So here is, uh, yeah, the more kind of improved fairy circle. or not improved, less spooky fairy circle. And uh, we got our froggy boy in the middle. I'm just gonna take a quick pick. It does look very um, yellowy, but that's just because of the grass. I promise when it's spring, it's gonna look better. And then I think lastly, uh, ignore me eating this mushroom. Just avert your eyes. I am gonna replace this with, you guessed it, a regular tree because why, kids? Say it with me. We want the cherry blossom trees. Good job. I think there is one last thing I will do, which I probably should have done earlier, but <laughs> it's too late. There is a custom design I want, and I know I said I wouldn't be replacing them. I know it, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm obsessed. Um, some backstory, if you guys don't know. When I was making my custom designs video, I wasn't completely sure about all of the custom designs. Like, I was like, okay, I know I need to have them, like, set in stone because I can't make this video and then just, like, change them later. You know, then I would have to make like an updated video, which is fine, but I don't want to, you know, like keep having to make those. So I was like, okay, whichever ones I pick, these are it. This is all I'm going to work with until I'm done with my island. And that is completely fine with me for the most part, except for this one design that I just kind of picked because I just needed to fill the slots. And um, I will show you what it is, but it's like the white stepping stone that I got to kind of match the white, like four tile circle stone. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll show you in a second here, but I haven't used that white stepping stone thingy for anything. I, I just don't like it whenever I put it down. I don't know why I picked it and that's just the reality of things. It's not my style and I'm going to pick something else. So someone sent these in our discord. So if you want to join and, um, oh, what is this? That is so cute. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. Um, yeah, this creator has really good designs. So these are the stones that I want. I want this star one. So bad. Let me look at the others. Oh, okay. Some good plank options. So yeah, if you want to join the Discord, we do have like a design code channel where people are always posting path designs, clothes designs. This is how I've gotten a good amount of designs that I have. I would just by like scrolling through there. So yeah, I saw this and I was instantly obsessed. Instantly obsessed. So let me show you the ones I was talking about. This one, I just don't like it anymore. I got it to match with this and they do match, but I, I don't know. For some reason, I don't like this one as much as this one. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. And uh, yeah, I did just show you the code, but I will be putting it um, in the description of my custom design video. It's just so cute and it, it matches my little fairy core vibe. Look how cute that is. Uh, yes. And then I think I'm going to put it right down here in front of this little library. Oh no, that's not where I wanted. Can, can you please go where I wanted you to go? Oh, that actually looks so cute. Like as a little path, like if you did three of them in a row, I'm not going to do it right here, but oh my goodness, this is my obsession. Let me clear this while we're at it. You know what would be good right here? A coconut. Okay, I think Tangy needs a star because she is a star. You know? She's a star on this island. The star of the museum. Cute! Ah! It is absolutely perfect. Here are this week's fan art submissions. Thank you guys so, so much for submitting again. These are 
absolutely amazing. I love them all. If you would like to submit your own fan art, there is a link to a Google Doc down below. All you have to do is submit through there and give me some sort of social media to credit you by. So yeah, thank you guys so much again. Love each and every one of these. Mwah. Good night, chef's kiss. All right, well, that's gonna be it for me today. This let's play honestly flew by. Um, I feel like we did get a lot accomplished, so good job us. Pat on the back us. Good, good job. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me or playing along with me if you were playing while watching. And um, don't forget that I do have merch. If you want to get yourself one of these cute hoodies or cute stickers, there's a link down below. Don't forget about our Discord if you would like to do some trading or find some custom designs or just chat with people, chat with me. Also, I've been trying to post more frequently on my Instagram and actually make it look cute. So if you would like to follow me on Instagram, I am there. And uh, I love seeing what you guys tag me in. It's always great. So many frog posts I get tagged in all the time. I think that's all the housekeeping. So. Thank you so much again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.